Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we are continuing to invade the countryside of Britain as a Roman warlord. Welcome back to Warlord Britannia, and here is my fellow. Oops, sorry. Oh, I guess you're, you're not mad about that. I accidentally just upgraded him. We probably should make these guys a little bit stronger, but yes, if you missed the last episode, I realized how bad of a warlord I am. Uh, last battle, we ended off with essentially me and one person surviving but hey we're not dead yet our, our our little camp is doing well and today i have figured out how to deal with these legions or centuries i guess they're called so we have to actually upgrade these guys and get a full troop of them then we can move on to having other platoons i'm gonna call them platoons i guess technically back in the day they were called centuries so right now i need a cornician I'm sorry if I say these wrong. A signifier and an optio. Um, I don't know who is who right now. So let's see if we can actually do this. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. So I can make him an optio. Uh, we do have to go up the rankings here. It's kind of confusing because you got to find each one. So now that I have him, we just need a cornician, a tesserarius, and a signifier. I'm sorry, I'm saying these so wrong. So we'll make this guy a tesserarius. Yes, everybody reform. All right, and now I actually need to turn my Optio into a Cornician. Um, requires at least two days in service. God damn it, man. Why do you need actual experience? Seriously? This is hard enough as it is, and I can't even make him a signifier yet. Uh, anyways, I understand how to make the different platoons now, so we're definitely going to do that today because right now this is the max army I can have. Obviously, I would like to uh, kind of get an actual massive team going out. I don't even know if I should attack much right now, considering I haven't done that. He just needs two days of experience. That isn't too long, but I probably should take another farmstead so we can um, get some more money. So I might make a trek down to here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's get these guys to follow me. Let's go for a walk as we wait for these guys to get experience, I guess. Regardless, we're well equipped now with armor, more or less. But yeah, it's strength in numbers in games like this. So I definitely do want to get more units. Um, we're just gonna have to wait for these guys to gain their experience and hopefully we don't kill them this time because uh, These are all pretty much new troops. All right, so I made it over here uh, I'm still just waiting for my troops to make it up. They're much slower than me. Unfortunately I don't foresee farms being too much of an issue for me. So I'm not too worried about going in uh, I don't think there's gonna be any sort of armies in these things, but you never know they might be able to travel here um, but yeah, I need as many farms as possible so I can tax them. So yeah, I'm just gonna move up here and, uh, these guys generally attack me. Ooh, they actually have shields right now. I'm gonna tell them to hold. And, oh my god, they're shooting. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. This should be very easy. We killed a bunch of them at the start. Oh, look at that shot. I do like, uh, doing archery in this. It's very easy to do. Uh, I guess the only downside is I don't have much arrows at all. I'm actually out right now. All right, we got a few good men left. I'm just going to tell them to charge now uh, so they can hopefully hit these guys. This guy doesn't want to seem to get off me, and I can't actually hit through their shields very well. So there we go. Very easy fight. Uh, that was basically just a slaughterhouse. And um, yeah, we're going to leave the buildings. Actually, I do want to loot them. All right, I'm going to enslave quarter of them, uh, and then I'm going to tax them. Let's just, let's just be nice. We'll just tax them quarter. There we go. So now this farm is in our control. I don't know if I should move my camp now at this point. I think for right now, we'll just leave this out here. That really brought the unrest up though. So I probably shouldn't be doing too much that's too stupid right now. Let's head back home. That was a successful day and uh, we'll just wait to upgrade these guys. Come on. Yeah, I got my signifier. Okay, finally, that was two days. So now we can upgrade this guy into Cornician. Perfect. Look at this. We're getting somewhere. It, it's a little confusing, this whole upgrade system. Um, but yeah, I just don't know like Roman history. So that doesn't help as well. So now I need a Tessararius. Sounds like a freaking dinosaur. Um, we'll make him that. I don't care who's who right now. We're all going to die anyways. And now I just need two basic units, I think. Oh, no, I need an Optio still. So I need to upgrade Tessararius to Optio. And then I can upgrade one of you to a Tessararius. And now we're good, right? We just need two basic units, I think. And there we go. We have officially a full Legion. Now I should be able to make a Centurion. 
who will run Century 2? If, if I'm understanding this right. I, don't I have a Centurion? Aren't you a Centurion? Yeah, you're Premius Pilius. So, uh, can I put you on another one? Or can I just recruit more now? Yes! Yes! Join! Okay, so now I need to control these guys in the Legion. And I essentially have two Legions now without any officers in the second Legion. So hopefully they'll come over here now. Dude, this is really cool. It's going to be very hard to manage all these groups once we get into the insane levels. But I do like the way this works. All right, so now if we call to arms with everybody, we should have two teams of troops. This is what I wanted. I want to attack some sort of village or something today. But I obviously need more troops. Oh, I feel like a badass now. Okay, so now we're going to upgrade you. You get Tessarius and then Optio and then... So I just need, um, I need a signifier, right? Okay, so yeah, I get it. I need an Optio. Uh, this promotion at least one day of service. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to upgrade these guys right now. But let's at least get them some decent armor here. All right, so we'll worry about upgrading these guys more later. Uh, only because I can kind of only do one at a time. But at least we got two teams now. Let's also upgrade all my troops to the best they can be, pretty much. I have run out of money. I cannot upgrade you guys anymore. But at least we got uh, my important guys fully geared out. Like, look at how cool this looks. Okay, um, I don't know if I should... I think I should start moving inwards. So I think what I'm going to do is relocate camp. I think I need to disband for that. Yeah, and then relocate, confirm. I guess... No, I don't want to... Oh, I didn't want the camp here. Well, that's fine. We, we can always just move it again. I'm going to relocate a little bit northward. Okay, so the goal today is to uh, take out a village. I'm thinking Kilothal makes the most sense because it's the most southward. Well, I guess Dallinkirk technically... Ooh, actually. Hmm. Being that my other farm's over there. Uh, no, you know what? Let's just stay over here because we have this farm here. Kilothal will be a good target anyways. Um, I'm going to start building a new base somewhere up here as we wait for these guys to gain experience. I don't know how many teams I'm going to need to take out of village, but I got to assume it's going to be more than two. So I'm hoping to get a couple more today. We just need the experience as quickly as possible. I think this should be a good spot right here. We're really close to the other base. Lots of resources around nice flat land. So I'm going to call this home base number two. And we are going to start building once again. I love how quickly you can move in this game. Um, what else do I need? I don't really need torches. I need barrels for lots of things. Put the tents over here. I don't even know if I'll put up walls. We haven't been attacked yet. Um, so I'll be moving again a lot. That's the whole point of this game is to obviously move a lot. So I'd rather not build what I don't need. All right, I need to get these guys out of the way. So I'm just going to tell them to hold over here as I build our new place. All right, and just like that, we have built a massive little camp. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how quick that is. So again, I'm just kind of waiting on time uh, so I can upgrade these guys. I may as well go attack this farm uh, just to get more taxes and to not waste any time here. All right, here we are. This is so overkill, but this is great. Telling my team to hold. Of course, I hit the shield. There we go. I don't know how to get more arrows. I wonder if it's limited because they're so good. Because, yeah, these guys don't hold up their shields. And they come charging, which makes my life way easier with this thing. And with how many teams we have now, we should be okay. I love how these guys don't even attack anymore. They're too royal for that. All right. Um, loot... I need a lot of silver right now. I'm going to leave the population be. I want to keep my unrest as down as po as possible. And I'm going to demand half silver per day. Just so I can start gaining more silver. All right. Well, that was easy. I don't... Did I lose anybody? I might have lost a couple units here. Okay. I think we have enough time. So I do the opto Optio. We need a Cornician. Oh my god. So every promotion takes two more days. It's so annoying because I need an Optio to do each one of these. So essentially, to do a full team, I'm going to need at least four days because I can only have one Optio at a time. I can make him a Centurion as well, I think, right now. Oh, no, that takes two days as well. So it takes six days total. Do I want to go for a village with this? I think I kind of... Wait, I have a convoy going right by right now? What? Oh, sorry. That's the farm I just took. I don't really want to kill a convoy anyways. It's just a, a way to get silver. You know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm going to try it. I could regret this decision, though. All right. So we're going to try with two teams. Well, almost two full teams. 
Um, villages, as you can see, a lot bigger. I mean, it's a village after all. I don't know if they'll have guards or anything. I'm worried about, like, archers now because archers... Well, at least I can do a, a lot of damage with the bow. I'm assuming they can as well. I'm just going to tell them to hold here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let these guys go first. I'm going to tell them to march. We're just going to take our time here. We're just going to move in. I'm not seeing anybody, which is creepy. All right, slow down, slow down. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. Man, they really charge really quickly. There is a lot here. These guys must not know how to make armor, though. I need to hit every one of these shots. We do have archers, as you can see. I just got hit. I think now that we're being kind of surrounded, it's time to charge. And... People are dying left, right, and center. I'm getting so many death messages. I need to get in here and start killing some guys. Or we are going to lose this battle. I don't think I should have did this. I... Oh, my... Um... Yeah, this was a mis... I, I'm just watching my whole team. <laughs> what of me? What am I going to do? Uh, you know what? All right, I'll see you later. Well, it's, it's, it's just me. It's just me alive. Um... It's a good thing I saved before I came. We have learned a valuable lesson. We are not prepared for villages. Oh, look, it was all a dream, guys. We totally didn't just get slaughtered due to my stupidity. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, my God. It's just insane the difference from a farm to a village. I guess it makes total sense, though. So we're just going to have to... Uh, spend a lot of time here recruiting these guys and upgrading them and unfortunately i just it just takes days in between each upgrade okay well a little bit of an update look at that we have oh god am i i'm starting to run out of gold that's a bad thing so i figured something out not that it really took that much brain power but i just literally stood here and lived off the tax and now uh, most of my units are four days in service. I was able to get a third legion. Correction, technically a fourth century now. Sorry, not legion. Um, And I can also, it's really useful. I can just move over some of my older units to different um, centuries. So I could upgrade them immediately. So it actually didn't take as long as I thought to get some mass recruitments here. All I had to do was move some of my older units to the new legion so I could uh, upgrade them fast. Now, I don't think going for a village is very smart right now. Unless, you know, maybe that village is one of the stronger ones. I don't know if they're different. I think I really got to get some more tax places, though. So I think I'm going to go out. I don't think we're going to run into an issue getting some of these smaller areas. And we're just going to slaughter. Oh, you know what? There's actually hamlets. I forgot about them as well. They should be pretty hard, but not, you know, village hard. I wonder if there's cities as well. I have only see villages around me. Um, I gotta assume there's, like, castles and things th as well. I don't think we'll get anywhere near that. But, yeah, I think after we attack the way station, if things are going well, we might hit up a hamlet and see how difficult that is. All right, so we got the way station here. No idea what a way station is, if I'm honest, but it looks extremely small. Is it even... Is there anybody there? Oh, yeah, there's definitely people there. Okay, so... Um, let's just tell my dudes to hold. I don't think we really need to plan too much with this. I'm just going to force them to go forwards here. I love that I can control them with the arrow keys. It's so cool. I really like... The best thing about this game is definitely the fighting. Uh, all right. So we should be able to pull them in now. Actually, should I keep my arrows for the hamlet? I don't think we're going to have a hard time with these guys. So I think I'm going to keep my arrows for the hamlet. Because I have to go back to uh, get more. And I really would rather not do that. All right. So yeah, this is probably even easier than a farm it looks like. <laughs> I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Yeah. Um, we are going to loot. Again, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. We won't enslave anybody and we'll demand half. I feel like that's fair. All right. That was a complete success. We lost nobody. Let's keep going and uh, try and get this hamlet as well. Actually, there's one on the coastline. I want to stick to the coast. All right. Definitely a hell of a lot more people here. Wow. I'm actually a little nervous now. I think we should be okay. We got the armor now. I gotta remember, last time I fought, we had like half the troops as well. I'm gonna hold. And let's let these guys come to me if they want to. Sometimes they'll hold in. It's looking like they're actually gonna come, which is great. Take off your shield, please. Thank you. And in... What? That didn't hit him? All right. Well, there we go. There we go. Guys, please throw your things. They don't seem to want to throw their things. That's fine. You know what? Oh, I, I forgot to set the battle. 
Oh, I'm such a noob. Well, there we go. We, they just threw them all at once. Okay, and look at this. There's definitely a hell of a lot more. We might lose. We already lost a couple men. I'm going to try and swipe these guys in the back so they stop hitting my teammates. There we go. Get them, get them, get them. Okay, is that everybody? Wait, is there still people holding in? Wait, I, I hear someone. Hold on. Well, what's going on over here? Okay, he's dead. Ah, oh, Hamlet's not so bad. We are going to loot and keep demanding half. I have upkeep I have to worry about. Okay, so that's good. I know I can deal with Hamlet's quite easily. I want to get this other Hamlet, so I have this whole blue area here. Um, So I think we'll go home heal and then head out and, and get that. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Just rolling on in. Okay, I, d I have it right this time, too. They should use their uh, pikes or whatever they are, which makes life way easier. Ranged is actually OP'd in this game. Um, but yeah, we have another Hamlet here. If we can get this, we should be getting a decent amount of taxable income daily, which is the goal right now. The more money I get, the better the armor we can get. Oh my god, I love looking behind me. I feel like such a badass now. Okay, get guys, just hold here. Um, I'm going to lure them over to us. Come on. Oh, there feels like there's a few more here. Are they holding in? Sometimes they'll just bunker down and force us to come in. Nope, they are definitely not holding in. Okay, there we go. One at a time. Come on out. Let's get six kills before we even have to fight. Thank you. You guys should probably use your shields. You know what? All right, guys. Come on. Let's just go in. I think these guys are actually holding out. So it's a different type of strategy. That aura was because my team was so far away. Coming out one at a time is like the worst idea. Uh, let me try and get one of these. Finally, I was able to use that. All right, everybody, you're doing great. We actually do have uh, some decently equipped units fighting against us right now, which is good. It's nice to see that all the different Hamlets are slightly different, at least in terms of opposition. Uh, I think we totally got Hamlets down, though. Wow, look at those guys charging in. I think there's probably one left in the middle of that. Yeah, I saw a head just literally pop off. Perfect. All right, and that gives us another 120 silver per day, which is the ultimate goal right now. And I own the freaking coastline. I might not own a village. I actually just realized Dallinkirk is a town. I wish it told me the difficulty level of each. I don't know if a town or a village is, is is larger. I would assume the town's the bigger one. So I think we'll leave Dallinkirk alone. And hopefully in the next episode, we should be large enough to take Killenthal down. But anyways, guys, that was a complete success. I'm going to head home now and uh, yeah, prepare for some bigger wars that are coming up ahead. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.